This is one of my favorite interviews that I have ever done. Jessica is someone that I met only a few months ago. She enrolled in uh, my course about finding your purpose and simplifying your life and it's, it's created such an incredible transformation in her life. Seemingly not much has changed. She still has the same job, still you know, has two small children that are busy. Uh, but what she has done is, uh, is really transform parts of herself that make her who she is as a woman. She started a blog, Halcyon Dreams, and an Instagram account, and in a very short amount of time, became an influencer. She's such a delight. Uh, you will absolutely love her. I wanted to ask her about, you know, the, the what made her get this off the ground, and to share any advice with us about doing the same. Enjoy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I am so so excited for this interview. I've been dying to do this I'm interview. I'm so happy you're here. This is so exciting. I am so happy. So we are in Jessica's home today, and we will be talking about all things lifestyle. I have been. Um, it was really a love at first conversation, oh, wasn't it? It was. It really was. <laughs> so. Tell me and tell everyone who is Jessica. Well, um, I am um, I'm a wife. I'm a, a mother of two small children. I've got a little boy who's just about to turn five. And I've got a darling little girl who is a year and a half. Oh, my God. And um, I, I love fashion. I love home decor. Um, I like to sew. I'm a, a sometimes runner, and by that I mean I've done several half marathons, and I'll train for three months and then not run for three months because I'm over it. But I'm doing a couple half marathons this spring, so I'm um, getting ready to train for that. Of course, I have the cutest little running outfits to wear. Of course you do. I actually <laughs> saw them on Instagram. Oh, you did? You probably <laughs> did. <laughs> Which all of you need to follow. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about that. So, um, love to travel. My husband and I have been a lot of different places in the world. We're going to Peru this fall. Um, I've been to Peru before because I have family there. My mom is from Peru. Okay. Um, but my husband is not, so it's going to be really exciting to do that together. Um, I, I do have a corporate job. I have an MBA. Um, I, I'm, a, I guess, a health plan analyst at a health insurance company, but I'm really fortunate. I get to work from home, so I have my home office here. Um, and I guess I would describe myself as kind of a, an, an extroverted introvert. Mm. So I'm very, like, I like my me time. I like to be mm. by myself to just kind of process things. Um, but, but I love people, too. So I love happy hour parties, like going out with friends. And then I kind of need to come home into my little... This is my little sanctuary, this room in my house where no toys are allowed. And oh, I, just I have one of those. Decompress and just kind of be my myself. So that's kind of that's kind of me, my personality, I guess. Oh, I love it. So I am really um, wanting, what, what I'm so excited about is sharing with the world the, uh, the work that you have been doing and your blog and your Instagram account, which has been blowing up. And it's actually, it's been beautiful to watch. So tell us about the, the uh, your your blog and what can we expect to find and how do you get started and everything? Okay, so my blog, um, it's kind of evolving right now. It's sort of leaning towards fashion, but I would say um, lifestyle as well. I do some DIY stuff on there. Um, I'm I'm doing I I show you know favorite picks from sales and how to wear certain like three different ways to wear a sweater that I love. Um, talk a little bit about um, travels that I'm doing. I'm working on, I have been working on a, a post of my trip to Cabo um, for a little while, but it's kind of been on the back burner. Um, coming up, um, I kind of want to get f a feel for the focus of it. Um, I think it's going to be more fashion related. I uh, definitely want to do some travel stuff though, because I have trips coming up um, to Chicago in the spring where I wow. love to go shopping and I, <laughs> I plan on doing a post of all my favorite shopping spots on Michigan Avenue. Mm. Um, I'm going to wine country this summer and Peru in the fall so there'll be some good travel um, posts on there uh, as well as just 
fashion, styling, you know, sale pics, things like that. Just sharing things that I find fun and pretty in the world, I guess. Oh, I love this. So what do you love about fashion? I mean, what is there not to love about fashion? There are women who are really drawn to it more. Mm -hmm. um, you are one of them, and we look up to people like you to tell us what to wear and how to wear it. What is your interest in? Has this always been with you? It really has. I've always enjoyed um, even just wandering around stores and looking at um, all the new stuff that comes out um, every season. And um, I just love finding outfits that I think are pretty and comfortable and really express sort of my style, which is kind of a mix of girly and polished, um, but comfy too, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I love that it kind of expresses who you are and there's all different directions you can go with it. Um, you know, I have my own style, but there's just so many different ways you can go with it. Um, I, I don't know, it's just fun to play with different ideas and I love how stuff comes back around. Like I'm really into kind of retro styles right now, like 70s, <laughs> like the high waist pants. Mm -hmm. The 90s styles are coming back. I was just in a store the other day and they had those like velvet, like striped t-shirts, like the button fly jeans. And I felt like I was in high school again. Oh out. my it goodness. It was it, just, it, that's, that's very true. Yeah. So yeah, so that's, it's just fun. I think it's, it's fun to play with and I mm -hmm. just enjoy it. Where does this, you know, the, the theme of your entire Instagram account is beautiful, right? It's mm -hmm. very polished. It is so bright and, and airy and there's like this thread of pink and it's just so beautiful. <laughs> um, has it always been like that? Is this something that's just really innate or did you find yourself it's kind of innate. Um, I didn't realize that that was my style and start, until I started putting it out there. And then I look back on my Instagram and think, oh, that I, I guess I do have, you know, because people talk about um, having a cohesive feed that sort of has color schemes and things and, and the, how that's difficult. But for me, it never was because I always just kind of was drawn towards those neutrals, mm -hmm. light colors. Pink is my favorite. Of course, <laughs> my whole house would be pink if I didn't have a husband to, to <laughs> tell me otherwise but um but yeah it's kind of always been like that I just like I think light and bright just makes me happy and, and I like you know it's, why not have beautiful things around you in the world that make you happy mm -hmm. very, very, very true yeah. so what are some of the things that you absolutely love about being an influencer on Instagram I at first, the whole thing kind of made me nervous, like kind of embarrassed to put myself out <laughs> there and say, hey, look at me, look at my cute outfit. But um, but it has been so much fun. I love just indulging this side of me, fashion, pretty things, um, and um, the community that has that I've built around this has been so wonderful and it's been so rewarding. Um, meeting people and realizing that there are other people out in the world that are uh, as obsessed with fashion and things as I am. And um, meeting some of those people, um, I've done some, you know, reaching out to other influencers and just finding a connection there and the back and forth, you know, messaging on people's posts and my posts. It's been really, really fun just to indulge my most sort of, um, I don't know, something that's been inside me for a long time that I just haven't put out there in a big way um, and having it come back in a really rewarding way in terms of connections with people and um, just having fun. Which is really important. And you're a natural, natural <laughs> at it, I must say. Thank you. You really are. It's been, I, I have to say that there is um, incredible passion and uh, a lightheartedness that comes through every time you post. There's yeah. this, you know, is that intentional or is that just part of who Jessica is? It's just, it's just what it is. Um, because I feel happy and lighthearted about the stuff that I'm posting. I just have mm -hmm. fun and I like it. So that I think it just kind of comes out that way. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So we have to know, what are you obsessed with right now besides the 90s and the, the high-waist jeans? <laughs> what are some of the things that, that are in that we should be paying attention to? What are you personally 
you know, interested in? So for spring, definitely some of my obsessions are ruffles. Okay. Like girly details, pretty much anything um, like Peter Pan collar. I don't know if that's in, but the, I'm totally into that because it's kind of like feminine and I have polished. to look. What is a Peter Pan? Like, so that's like when you have a collar, but it's not pointed. It, it's like round like this. Mm, okay, I got it. I love that because I think it, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. So like girly details, mm -hmm. ruffles, um, little floral details, eyelet, like um, like the eyelet stitching. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I love wide leg pants, high waist pants. Um, of course, well, these, these could have a higher waist on them, but they are, they are wide leg. Yeah. Um, dresses. I'm so into dresses lately and I don't, in the past, haven't had a lot of reasons to wear dresses because I work from home mm -hmm. and I have small children and it doesn't really go together with that. But since I've been involved in this, I've had more opportunities to, um, go out to events and, and see people. And, and I'm always, I'm always loving to wear a dress to that. So like maxi dresses, like flowy, kind of almost like boho chic type mm -hmm. dresses. I love right now love I love that are there any rules that you live by you know fashion wise or uh or, you know aesthetic wise um I think you just have to go with what you love like don't listen to other people don't necessarily follow the trends if you if, if you're not into that um I mean my style is very has a very girly edge to it and some people are like oh you know that's not high fashion or um, but for me, like, it's what I love. And when I put it out there, um, I've, I've gotten such wonderful response. And I think that when you're authentic to yourself, it comes out in a positive way. And people who gravitate toward that, it's just a positive response. Which is really nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I am beyond, beyond excited and, and so grateful to be here today. Today is a very, t to me, a seminal moment. I think that, uh, I would call you a friend I'm today, too. even though it's like a budding friendship, yes. which is so exciting. Thank you. But we only met a few months ago. I know, I know. <laughs> which is kind of incredible. <laughs> so uh, Jessica joined the Purpose Compass Formula, which is a course that I've designed for people who are really wanting to live more of a life on, on purpose. And the outcome wasn't to have a successful blog and to become an influencer. It was like, do what makes you feel happy and alive. And this was your journey and everyone has a, a journey, but I have been so impressed by you, so excited and in awe. So um, I, wanna, I wanna ask you so many different questions, but let's start with, why did you join Purpose Compass Formula? Well, I joined because I was just looking for something fulfilling kind of just for me in my life. Um, I, I have two small children. Um, I have a wonderful husband, a wonderful home, um, a, a very good job. And, you know, I have friends, I have activities, but there was really something missing. And I felt like a lot of what I was doing was just go to work, come mm -hmm. home, take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. Um, do what you're supposed to do and I was I felt like there was I had something more inside of me and I didn't know what that was and I was just looking for something um, someone to help me discover that and I I joined Purpose Compass because I I just googled Minneapolis life coach and when I found you I, I just felt really connected to you just looking at your website and I loved um, Purpose Compass was was such a perfect name for it because it was like, find your purpose. Here's some, something, someone who can guide you toward it um, and help you. And the formula part, because I'm kind of an analytical person, aside from being <laughs> the creative side, I'm sort of a, like numbers person and I like structure and rules and lists and things. And so that, I don't know, it just resonated with me. And so I liked how it was structured because it... Um, kind of went in a logical structure and, and yeah, and here we are. And here we are. Well, this is, what is it? Five months later. Yes. It's, so. it's really incredible. So I'm going to, I'm already tearing <laughs> up. It happens every time. Um, so what did you get out of it? Tell us what happened in the purpose compass formula, because you did not have a blog or an Instagram account, mm -hmm. uh, for the, for the blog. You were not an influencer when you started 
the course. And I remember the first conversation we've had. Yes. So tell us how what, what happened, what transpired. So just going through the modules and then the first time that we spoke, I think I was wearing a sweater or something that you commented on and then I started going off about clothes or something and you you just sort of saw that in me like I it, you were like what is it about fashion like I saw you there's something with you in fashion and I and I'm like oh I don't know I mean I just kind of wear sweatpants most days because I work from <laughs> home but it's something that I've always loved and mm -hmm. um from there it was just um your encouragement to just try something mm -hmm. you know just put something out there and try it mm -hmm. um and part of that was working through the modules and and um discovering things about myself and all of it was pointing to this in a way that I never really knew before. Um, I mean, I always, it was an interest, but it was like the sort of this far off, like, oh, that would, I could never do that. Like, because mm -hmm. you're a successful businesswoman. Yeah. And I thought that was kind of my path. Like, okay, go to school, get, you know, get your degree, get a good job. Now you're, now you, you got it. You're, you're done. But I wasn't done. And there was so much more in there that, um, I started kind of posting outfits on Instagram and I was like, oh, this is really embarrassing. Like people are going to make fun of me or my friends are going to think I'm weird. Um, but it was, the response was so positive that it just kind of fueled me to keep going. And I, I started this um, Instagram of just my, my outfits and, and random stuff around the house. And then you forced me to start my blog. <laughs> Forest gently <laughs> nudged. <laughs> Nudge me. I no, you I I feel like working with you sort of um you gently nudge people out of their own way mm -hmm. and give them the confidence and kind of the bravery to go for it. Because I I was like, okay, I'm gonna start this blog, let's do it. And I spent a whole weekend like swearing at my computer <laughs> trying to figure out coding and how to set the whole thing up and it was very confusing um you made it work yeah and the first couple posts were really um trial and error yeah you know but it, it but it it was fun to do and taking the pictures has been really fun and so just um it started to feed in me like my interest in photography and I've had this big fancy camera since I got married and we use it on auto mode and that's it and I was like you know what no I need some good pictures for my blog I'm gonna go and so I took this day-long photography class and it was so fun um, and now I'm learning to use my camera and I want to you know get good better pictures on my blog and that's just been really exciting and fun for me mm -hmm. um, and now um, my Instagram has all these followers. Um, I, I've been involved, like meeting other influencers around the Twin Cities just because um, I'll just reach out to people. And um, I've gotten involved with some, uh, the Minneapolis Bloggers Union, which is um, a group of women uh, who also do blogging around the Twin Cities. And it's mm -hmm. just been just so fulfilling and so fun and so rewarding. I mean, I'm, I'm actually like, making a little bit of money at it, like monetizing stuff, which I never thought like I could make money doing something that I love, like fashion, um, because it seems like a frivolous and kind of silly, like, oh, look at you, you just like to go shopping. But um, it's been so wonderful. Like it's opened all these doors and I think I just had to get past the fear Mm -hmm. and be brave enough to go for it and and um just it's the beginning of this really awesome journey and it's been so much fun so far and I just see so much exciting stuff coming up I mean I'm getting involved in fashion week which is blowing my mind like that's like dream come true um I might even be I might even be modeling in a couple shows it's just like this is a whole world that has been like a dream that I a few knew, months ago wouldn't that I a few months ago if someone told me that I was going to be modeling in fashion week um I had an Instagram with all kinds of followers I was like making money doing this I would be I would be I would laugh <laughs> well go have fun <laughs> and now yeah it's 
It's incredible. It's incredible. It's really, and, and, mm -hmm. it, and it has, I feel like my life has changed not just in that way, mm -hmm. but in other ways where I'm making decisions about um, just my life in general and, and what I choose to pursue and what I choose to um, get involved with or not get involved with mm -hmm. that, um, that has changed a lot just going through all of this um, and just seeing what's really important to me and being really happy with that and being okay with me, you know, um, and not apologizing for it. So it's just, yeah. Isn't that the greatest gift we can it, give to ourselves? It really ourselves? is. And, and it's so easy to say that. I mean, I have people who ask me, what is Yasna really doing for you? I mean, I could have told you, you should have started a fashion blog. And I'm like, <laughs> it's not that easy though. Mm -hmm. Um, working with you, you just have a way of just kind of nudging someone in the right directions. Like you see into people's souls, I feel like, and you just bring out the best in people. I, I really believe that. Um, I talk about you all the time with people. My husband probably gets really annoyed. <laughs> I hope not. I like to meet him one day. I know, I know. No, but I think, um, and I think he's really grateful for like the excitement, the newfound excitement that I have about life and about things because, um, Maybe I think it's something he hasn't seen in me in a long time. Well, I want to, not to, you know, dampen the mood, but I want to talk a little bit about the, the fears and the doubts, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're... Oh God, you're uh -huh. going to make me cry. I am, I am really... <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is emotional mm -hmm. for me because, you know, this work is not easy, but it's so available to all of us. We live in a, in a world where enough is enough of working um, miserable jobs. And, you know, we have Blake here who's shooting this with us, and we want him to do the work that he loves and that's when we thrive that's when we uh you know evolve and i know that in a few years you're going to be doing this full time which is which is so remarkable and it's really exciting but this is why it's not that easy because of those doubts and fears so tell us what are some of the doubts like the real stuff that that prevented you from doing any of this before um i mean just feeling like just not knowing where to start mm -hmm. um, and feeling like I wasn't I wasn't good enough at it or I didn't have anything to offer anybody mm -hmm. that either anybody would find value in or that wasn't already out there mm -hmm. um, and sort of being like embarrassed of who I was in the sense that I thought that maybe people would think it was strange or like silly or um yeah just and yeah not thinking i had the skills or or, or was good enough to to make anything real out of any of it um mm. but in taking those steps and doing it you find that if you follow something that's in your heart and you love it and that people do see it and they and they see the value in it and they and they see um that it's unique and that it's awesome and um i've got nothing but wonderful feedback from everything mm -hmm. i've done and it's opened a world of people and experiences in my life that i never thought were possible and i, I feel like it's only the beginning um so just being brave enough to say hey this is who i am this is what i love and let me put it out here in the world and um and people respond to that in a really positive way if you're authentic about it they really do yeah so what would you tell to a jessica sitting <gasps> out there somewhere you know she's working at a job she's good at it has a nice family good life mm -hmm. but there's something there's something more what advice do you have for her i think you know just be brave and and take those things that are in your heart and do something with it like do anything take take the first step you know take a take a camera class or you know if you're into music you know take a piano class even if you it's something you've never done before but it's always something you've dreamed of to just take that first step and it's like you see the how happy it makes you and the value in it and it kind of just leads you to taking the next step and the next step but it's like the first step is always the hardest and then you kind of get braver each time 
I did anyway. <laughs> and now, um, yeah, I think it's just being brave enough to take the first step and just try something new. Try something. At one thing. Yeah. Anything. Yep. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. What's the, by far, the greatest thing that you have learned about yourself? That it's okay to be me. You know? <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's okay to just own that and be happy with it. And, you know, people, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Amen. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I've learned that I'm brave. And I, I wouldn't have considered myself that before, but I am. Very brave. Well, <laughs> well thank you so much. Thank you for, for uh, joining. Thank you for making my mascara go all over because th that always means it's 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 very good uh, thank you for being brave enough because i really think that you are you're such an incredible human being which is i love you so much but you really are an inspiration to so many women you're the kind of uh, you know this is the kind of interview i would want to watch before i you know became a coach because those are the things, like the little nudges or stories of people who have actually done it. Yeah. And they're having fun along the way. And it's not easy. You're still managing mm -hmm. the household and the job and yes. the blog. And, but you're having fun. And, and there's an excitement about life, which yes. is what we all deserve, deserve to have. So I can't, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you. No, thank you. I mean, it's, I feel like, th it, like this has been life changing in a way that nothing else. I mean, I've tried a lot of things in life, like working out and, you know, just different activities and things and careers. And, and, um, this is something that truly like very clearly set my life in a sharp turn in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Um, and just, I just, just really lovely working with you. Same period, just the beginning, yes, just the beginning. I know, I mean, <laughs> Yes, working with you is like I tell people that you you see into someone's soul, you bring out the best in people. You're like a friend, you're like a confidant, you are um funny and just fun to talk to and you um no, I'm gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know, you just every time I get off the phone with, with you, I just have the I'm so excited to just try the next thing, you know, go for it. Um so yeah, that's I love you. Well, thank you, and I love you too. <laughs> now, let's tell these good people while I'm wiping off my tears. Uh, let's tell them where where can we find you? Um, how do you want people to interact with you? Because I think this is people are absolutely going to love everything that you oh, have to offer. Thank you. So I am. I have my blog. I'm on Instagram. Um, I I do post on a, a Facebook page. I'm kind of starting to get that going, but. Um, I, my blog is called Halcyon Dreams. Mm -hmm. We're going to link all of that up. Yep. And Halcyon means um, like peaceful and idyllic, which is kind of how I, I, you know, if you look at my Instagram feed, it's very light colors and just kind of a peaceful feel to it. So that's kind <laughs> of like how I like to think about life and the kind of stuff that I like to share. Mm -hmm. um, so um, follow me on Instagram, go read my blog. Um, there's probably the most content at this point is on Instagram, um, but I'm just adding stuff all the time and I, I hope to just continue to add more. So exciting. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, I adore you and I look forward to watching you grow and in a few years. Um, don't, don't forget about me. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye everyone.